Hello and welcome to Boy and RV. My name is Tristan and today is February 15th, Tuesday, meaning we have four days left of our show here at Boy and RV. However, more importantly behind me here is a brand new 2022 Keystone Montana 3791RD, as in rear den. This unit comes in about 40 feet, five inches long from front to back and weighing about 14,240 pounds drive. Now up front here, you got a big, beautiful one-piece fiberglass cap, the nice Montana sign right up there, just showing you exactly what this unit's all about. Up here is gonna be where you're gonna store your battery. You do have some additional storage on the left right here. Otherwise, coming around, you have your control for your six-point automatic leveling system right there. Otherwise, you got two 30-pound propane tanks one on each side, I'll show you one. You get, sneak a 40 in there if you'd like. Here's your gigantic pass-through storage. Again, you need somewhere to put another camper, it's to be a spot, otherwise you do have your road back control right there, your AC inverter prep, and then on my left side you have your solar prep, and then your solar charge controller for your panel up top. Otherwise you got a nice universal docking station right here with all of your water hookups simplified for you right there. You also have your TV hookups and your solar amp. Um, if you wanna add another panel on the outside here, control it a little bit more. Otherwise you got your hot water heater, your exhaust your furnace, your kitchen, microwave. Here's gonna be three of your slides, the other, gonna two, other two are gonna be on the other side. Yes, this unit has five slides. Always back here, we have additional storage. If that front storage wasn't enough, we have a tray back here. You can access from all sides. If not, just pull out yourself. Fit plenty of gear back here. I think a kayaks, maybe stand up paddle boards, coolers, boxes if you're living in it. Again, plenty of space back here. Up top, you do have a backup camera wire prep. And then you also even have a ladder to get up top with your accessory hitch right there. Come around this side, we're gonna pan as far back as possible, put this thing in perspective. You can hear your two additional slides. I didn't put your, the awning out because we're gonna put this right back outside. We didn't want to get too cold, but below that awning we do have some outdoor speakers, some LED lights. Just the whole shebang right here. We got four solid steps, spring loaded, so it'll help you put this in and out. Otherwise, here's the package that you got on top of this. You do have that Solar Flex 200. And as that sticker said, this does have four season living up to those Montana standards. All right, right down here in the first section is gonna be your living room. Right in front of me here, like all RVs should have, your controls or just what everything right here. And then you also have a coat rack where when you get in throwing your coat, and you're hanging your keys up to your truck and whatnot. Nice spot right here. Maybe we're gonna put a coffee maker. You got outlets, some storage below and above. With a couple more controllers. Your inverter right there. And your AC. AC, why am I bringing that up? Because there's not only one up front, but there's one back there with the Air 360s ducting them in between. And while we're up top, you have a max airflow fan right there. A 10 plate fan of sorts for airing out the kitchen when you're cooking. A nice big center island right here and the sink covers for that are actually going to be located right below right there and then you also are even given a garbage can right there nozzle do all your dishes whatnot oh it's so cold i can't even grab it you'll notice that there's moisture and just about everything because again this unit just came inside from the freezing cold so the heat in our shop is making it um defrost a little bit Here's your Norcold gas electric fridge freezer. I believe you got about 18 cubic feet in this. And if you don't need your goods to be cold, you have a pantry area here, the motion sensor light, voila, to keep those other goods stored. And if that wasn't enough, again, next to your appliance here between your huge oven, your three burner gas stove top, correction, four burner, no, I was right, three burner gas stove top, thought it was three, four. Um, you do have more storage on either side, and then you have a gigantic convection microwave here as well. As for outlets, you got two there with USB, and then two there as well. And 
Like every unit, I always seem to miss a light. Plenty of storage, however, throughout this kitchen. Ooh, spice rack, jeez. Really gotta open every cabinet when you're looking at these things. Down low, think of the dog storage down here. Just right below your living room, which we're going to next. Again, more motion sensor lights when you're sneaking out at night. You don't trip and fall down the stairs because they're lit up. However, here's your rear den, your rear living room. You got recliner sofas right here. Then you got two pull-out sofa bed couches right there. Otherwise, you do have a nice big fireplace there. Some free heat when you got power. Your JBL sound system, which doesn't not only play here, but also throughout the unit outside when you want to play music by the campsite. And then when you're not watching TV, you just touch the button down here. In a few more seconds and you're watching your neighbors or maybe the wildlife outside at your campsite. Again, there's plenty of windows in here, but just for lighting reasons, I have all these MCD shades down. Moving on from the living room, past the kitchen, we are going to go to the master. But first, down here, you got your breaker box and that floor back I was talking about earlier. Huh, prime example of those motion sensing lights. Grab your nice big grab handle. Here's your master bathroom. Got a cool sink right there with just as fun storage below and besides it. Got another big fan in here. AC, and then here's your porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a one piece shower as well. Plenty of space in there, and some additional storage. A very bright colored bathroom, very spacious. You got 66 gallons of fresh water, 88 gallons of gray water, or tanks, I should say, and also 49 black. Here's your master bedroom. I believe you got a king size bed, there's storage beneath it. Your hose for your vac. Got reading lights up top. Outlets are going to be hidden on the sides here. However, there's also some up top. Whether you're putting your phone, your book, your retainer, you name it. Got plenty of space up there. Some storage across from the bed. Your TV. That second AC I was talking about earlier. And then your wardrobe, your closet. You can wash your dryer prep in here. Gigantic space. You can hang some clothes up top. Otherwise, again, <laughs> just defrosting in here, but here is the other part of your wardrobe. Nice motion sensor light, once again. Shoe rack, hamper, you name it, it's got it. The tease one last thing. You notice quite a bit of ambient lighting in here. However, your dining table, we want to seat a few more people. All you're going to do is lift it up and extend that. Otherwise, you do have a little bit of storage in there too for magazines and whatnot. But yeah, this is the Keystone Montana 3791RD. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to call me, Tristan, here at Bullion RV at 507 923 five six seven five or in case you want to get in on the last four days of our show again same number give me a call otherwise take care bye bye